Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my top 10 tips for teachers using my viewboard. Now, I'd like to firstly start by saying thank you to ViewSonic, the creators of my viewboard who are sponsoring today's video. I don't often work with lots of different brands. However, as I use my viewboard regularly with my class and their values align with my own, I thought that they would be the perfect sponsor for today's video. So this video is going to be split into three separate sections. We're gonna start by looking at prepare, then present, then participate. In Prepare, we're going to look at a range of different tools and resources that can help you prepare really creative lessons. In Present, I'm gonna look at a range of different features that help you present effectively. And then in Participate, we're gonna start by looking at how to make those lessons really interactive to keep your class engaged. The Magic Box. In my opinion, the Magic Box is the most important resource within my Viewboard. It gives you access to a range of different tools which can make preparing the canvas, which is the blank page that you were initially presented with within my Viewboard, really effective. There are a range of different tools within the Magic Box. I really like the simple timer function when teaching. I also really like the mathematical resources such as the protractor and ruler, which can make modeling really effective. There's also now a range of sticky notes that you can use to present information in a range of different ways. And it's really simple to put images into your presentations by simply Googling whatever it is that you want to integrate into your canvas and then dragging them into your slides. Video integration. Within the magic box, you are able to drag video files straight onto the canvas. So if you were to go into your computer, you can drag MP4 files along with a range of other formats onto the canvas, and then you can share videos straight away with your class. My favorite part of video integration is that you can type a video into YouTube and drag that YouTube video into the canvas too, which is really fun when you are teaching. Background. One simple way of creating a background is by dragging an image and enlarging it. However, it's also something that takes a little bit more time. Luckily, my viewboard has a range of backgrounds built in to the platform. They have a grid. I really like the confidential elements that they have with the backgrounds. In addition to that, you can search a range of different backgrounds from the internet and there are a range of different colors integrated too. You can select whatever background you want to, which can make it really effective when you're presenting to the class. Compatibility. Now, while I've shown you some fantastic features already for my viewboard, it could be a little bit daunting when you're thinking about the fact that you've created a range of different flip charts on a range of different resources, such as Google Slides, Smart, Active Inspire. Please don't worry. My viewboard is extremely clever and you can drag old file types into my viewboard and it will convert it for you so that you can still use it through my viewboard. That way, A, it's going to save you time because you're not starting to create new things for yourself. And B, if people are creating things on other platforms, you can then drag them in, which makes it really easy to work as a team. I really like the fact that I can drag my Google Slides in because that's what my school use, and then I can use that with my class through my Viewboard. That brings me to the end of Prepare. Let's jump straight on to Present. The Infinity Board, or Infinite Canvas, as ViewSonic call it. Now, I really like the Infinity Board because there's nothing worse when you're teaching a class than writing something out and realizing you've not got enough room and you can't go underneath, so you start to squeeze things in. Luckily, with the Infinity Board, you can then make it smaller and have a little bit more canvas to write on. Not only is it useful in that way, you can also start to do some really fantastic things because you can then have, for example, a whole solar system that is integrated into the Infinity Canvas and you can drag and zoom around and really create these immersive lessons for children showing the solar system. As a result, you can then start to produce some really creative lessons. The AI Pen. Thankfully, ViewSonic have decided to integrate the AI Pen into their My Viewboard platform. That is fantastic for me because I'm not the best drawer. Now, when I'm presenting a lesson and I want to share with children a drawing of something, now that might be through a talk for writing process where I need to draw small images. This is great because I can then draw what I say is an animal and then that will then predict what I'm actually trying to draw and create a small drawing version. In addition to that, this is great because children can also use that in a similar manner when they're on their own version and creating their own inputs in the polls and quizzes that we will get into later on. Next up within the present category is clips. Now within the My View Board clips, there are over 2 million videos. I am a huge fan of not reinventing the wheel to save teachers time. So when I'm looking for a video to help me model, I go into the clips, 
search up something, for example, science, if I'm trying to look for something related to animals, I can search that and then integrate that into my canvas, which makes it really easy for me to model to children. First up within the participate category is polls and quizzes. Find within the magic box both polls and quizzes and pop quiz add an extra layer of interactivity to lessons. Now, the reason I love polls and quizzes most is because there is a range of different question types. My personal favorite is the multiple choice question type where you can ask an A, B, C, D type question and then children can come to that and think about their understanding. For example, in a lesson for science where I might ask something like, what is a mammal that purrs? <laughs> and then from there, children can pick the A, B, C, D and pick the correct one. From there as a teacher, I can then see the children answer and it's really effective as an assessment for learning tool. Next up is the immersive reader. Now, I love the immersive reader because I think it adds a layer of accessibility to children, which allows inclusion. Now, if there is text on the screen within the canvas of my view board, you can then go to that text click on the little immersive reader icon and it takes you to the immersive reader screen. From there, you can highlight the different word classes. The immersive reader will then read back the text at a pace that you select. In addition, the most powerful tool that I think is the fact that you can translate the language, which is fantastic for those children who have English as an additional language. If you don't wanna go into the immersive reader, there is a little icon next to the immersive reader where it will just read the text out loud, which is really simple to do. Lastly, within participation is the online system. If you're watching this thinking, I haven't got a Windows device, I'm not gonna be able to use this, I'll just leave it for now. Please do not worry. My view board is available online and I've made a range of other videos showing you exactly how to use that system and I'll link that up there. I use that one primarily, but it's been fantastic to explore this window system and get familiar with the different things like polls and quizzes that aren't available online. So I would definitely recommend going to check out that video if you haven't got the Windows version, but if you do, make sure you download the Windows version. And remember, I've linked that in the video description and within the comments below. So feel free to check that out. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. To help me out, please make sure you go to the like button give that a hit. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss future content. I make a range of education and lifestyle videos here in Dubai. I would also like to say a big thank you to ViewSonic for making this video possible and sponsoring the video. Hopefully I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, I'm out.